Here's why you should not use family as your realtor. Uh, <laughs> I get this all the time of where I'll have people walk into my open house and say, oh, well, I have a realtor and I'll ask who and then they don't really give a name, but they're like, oh, it's just a family or a family friend, family realtor. And I'm like, well, I highly advised against that. And here's why is because main key points are they know your income and expenses right off the bat. If they are working with a preferred lender, there's a connection with that preferred lender and there's probably some talk about whether you know you can actually afford the home what you can afford your monthly income your credit card debt like those are very important if you want to keep that boundary uh line between your family and yourself then it's important to kind of stray away from that second thing is when working with family they probably don't work as hard because they know you're your family. It's like free money. So in a sense, if the client is working with a family member who's a realtor, then they're just gonna expect that the realtor is going out of their way when in actuality, the realtor thinks that they're just giving free money because it's their family member. So it's kind of like reverse psychology of where um, the realtor might not be focused on the family member as much because they're dealing with other clients who need more guidance. So that's why I say it's best to work with someone outside of your family. Um, that way you don't blur the lines.